I'm interested in how to do a time-lapse photo, which is a video. I'm assuming that the clouds have to be moving. Well, it's really funny. You know, one of the things I'm, I guess I'm known for is I do a lot of time-lapse. I do. And um, I realized yesterday I've never really done a video on how to do a great time cool. lapse. It's always in various little pieces here and there. So I'm going to do one this week, give you all the secrets cool. to my time lapsing. But here it is very simple. Tripod, smartphone adapter, set up your shot, press record, stand there for an hour. That's what you do. Yeah. Well, and put it on time lapse and then yes, press go. Yeah, put it on yeah. time lapse. And yeah. you need movement, 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 movement. So clouds, are fantastic. They're incredible. I did one in Santa Barbara of the county courthouse where I got there at 530 in the morning and I wanted to watch night turn to day. There were no, I didn't really get clouds, but what I got was just seeing the movement of the light was incredible. Uh, you know, fast cars are always fun. I do the ocean a lot, though. I think the ocean gets a little herky-jerky. Uh, mm -hmm. And then a lot of people like to do hyperlapse, which is them running down the street. But you have to run for a long time to get anything of interest. Frederick, do you do a lot of time lapses? I, that's one thing that, that I think a lot of people, they get the iPhone. That's probably one of the reasons why they get it, because of, you know, folks like, you know, Casey Neistat's YouTube channel, he always, or in a lot of his videos, he starts with a time lapse at the beginning. And the, I think, yeah, you hit it right on the head, Jefferson. I don't know what else to add to that. But yeah, the, the whole idea of time lapses, like I said earlier, in that whole time travel thing, is you're compressing time, something that would have happened over an hour or multiple hours, you're compressing down into minutes, which we as humans can't perceive that. So it looks interesting instantly as we see time unfold or flowers growing or clouds passing by or ships un going underneath the Golden Gate Bridge or something like that. It, it instantly looks interesting. But yeah, the your, your point of not or having static clouds in the shot and Jefferson's point of yes, you can whatever you shoot in time lapse has to have some sort of dominant motion or some sort of obvious motion in there, whether, you know, and not necessarily things like trees blowing, because it's just going to look like, you know, trees moving fast, but things like a crowded scene and showing the people kind of moving around in there like ants, you know, or like I mentioned, the boats going under a bridge or stuff like that, where if you look at it, it looks boring <laughs> or, or relatively benign, um, just kind of looking at it in the real, but then if you compress the time down, you know, it, it starts looking interesting. So it's also, it's very, it's interesting because it's a, it, you need to start looking at different scenes differently now. If you're looking at them specifically for time lapse, now when you're looking at an intersection of traffic, you know, maybe that would look good in time lapse, you know, let's try that out. Cool thing is you could experiment it experiment with that all day it's you free. can set your camera up in the living room tonight and have your family running around you know just to get a feel for how the speed works and composition and what's interesting what's not interesting yeah what you can't do is handhold uh, because you need to basically let the camera roll for a, a half hour to an hour the best yeah. best you could hope for is a minute of of handheld you just can't it just can't be done so you're going to yeah. have to put it on a tripod and have something to do um, now, now, one interesting time lapse, uh, it's going to be on Saturday's episode of PhotoWalks TV, which will be uh, in the little Danish town of Salvang, California. Very interesting little place uh, up, up the coast here. It's actually in I've been but, there. But yeah. it's a little north of Santa Barbara. So I went out with this great photographer, George Rose. We started shooting at 6.30 in the morning. I let it roll till 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Uh, of the morning. And... Beyond the clouds, colors that you would have never seen, mm. that you only see in a time lapse, because you usually get a morning color show that happens really fast. Same thing happened to me in Hawaii, uh, where the sunrise was nice, but the pre-show was even better. 